before you get your first developer job, I have to warn you. You have to get in and you have to get out as fast as possible. I have kind of restrained myself from talking about this topic, but a coding career is only good for the first five years. And the reason why I'm saying that is because you will be reaching a point where you'll be making a lot of money. There is no way to go after that, right? So majority of you are in your 20s, right? And probably don't have like proper careers. You work random jobs and stuff like that. And you want to get into something that's more stable, that brings you more safety and whatnot. And coding is exactly that, right? You also have this satisfaction right now, which is related to like building stuff, creating things. I guess that's that's one feeling that you have right now as you're learning. And I know about this because I have experienced it as well. I actually loved building stuff, right? I loved coding. But then after a while, that novelty will wear out really, really quick. And then when it hits, it hits. You know, I don't think I'm the typical YouTuber where I'm like super excited about coding and stuff like that. You see like all these guys on TikTok that are so happy about coding. They are always like, you know, petting their dog, traveling or something like that. I mean, you can travel with it, but it's not like you're gonna be traveling with your laptop working on the beach because it's very unpractical. You'll be getting like sand in it. You're gonna have glare and you won't be able to see you know like those things look good on instagram and to be honest i kind of refrain myself from doing that because i'm not that guy i've never been i'm trying to make a setup right now you know which is pretty cool i guess with this mic and everything because i want to give like better advice when i'm going live or when i'm with my clients but i'm not a fake you know at the end of the day you know i don't like that I don't care about the LED lights, you know, I, I, I'm a very minimalistic developer or I was a developer, now I'm a coach. Once the novelty wears out after like three, five years, you'll realize that you are capped, okay? And the money won't grow anymore. If you start at 80K, then you'll be making 90, then 100, then 120, then 150, and then that's it. You have like the next 20, 30 years of your life where you won't be growing anymore. You have to go laterally into a company or something like that. And you know, for some people that's fine. Some people just want jobs. But if you are like me, you need to treat coding from now as a tool to get you somewhere else, right? For me, I use coding to start a business, to teach people programming, whatever. I'm developing like mindsets and like techniques and frameworks to teach people how to get in faster because I don't want them to waste time. I don't want people to like waste three years learning code and then another five years doing it so they are wasting like five years overall trying to get somewhere else the idea is to get in in one year or less than that stay in for five years save up a lot of money and while you're saving up the money you are working on the next thing or on the next skill that you want to add or on the next side hustle because the point is not to have a job for the rest of your life the point is to to become free to be financially independent okay because you don't want to depend on anyone even if you are a freelancer start a, a business a SaaS company start a development agency start an airbnb side hustle investing to real estate and have multiple properties that you rent out and you make money off i don't know whatever other hustles are out there i don't know or businesses or business models are out there you can get into that because you have a bigger capital, right? I was actually talking with a friend about this. If you're making, let's say, 5K a month, you can only risk 1K every other month in your business. But if you're making 10K per month, then you can risk 3K per month to grow a business, okay? And you have to understand that you have to spend money to make money. That's the point of like web development in general. It's just a tool. And if you get too attached to this tool and then if this tool becomes who you are, your personality, you'll end up depressed. You know, I see these people on, on, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, Instagram, you know, they have like this perfect lives, you know, being developers and whatnot. And then, you know, suddenly you see that post where they are depressed and they've been depressed for their whole life. I don't believe in depression myself. Call me whatever you want, but I don't believe in it. I, I can understand you can feel depressed sometimes, but you can choose not to be depressed, you know, but that's a discussion for another time. The point is those guys and those girls are depressed because they have reached their limits, right? I know a guy, he was making like 500 grand a year, half a million a year from coding. 
data science or something like that. But where do you go from there? Maybe you can go to 1 million, let's say. I think if you have like 15, 20 years of experience and you work for Apple or something like that, you can make a million a year. You as a human, you always have this, you have this need to go to the next level, okay? To either make more money or to get freedom. These are your two needs. You will be capped with both of them at some point, okay? You will be capped. There is no like hiding around it. And this is something to keep in mind as you're going through this. Do not forget that coding is just a tool and you have to use it as a tool. I give this advice to all my successful students. Whenever they get a job, I say, hey, I know you're happy, but you need to use this momentum to find the next thing, okay? Do not waste this momentum. I know you wanna maybe relax a little bit because you've been working for nine months really hard, you've been dealing with all these objections, but no, you do not have time to chill out right now. You have to find the next thing. You need to find the next thing. Otherwise you will be, you'll reach a normal, like a baseline where you'll be, because you're not a geek, you're not a born geek. You won't want to learn every single day. You know, like there are people that are studying every day and you cannot compete with those people. If you are not naturally like that, you cannot compete with those people, you'll burn out. I know because I've tried it. After I got my first job, I was like coding every single day. You know, I was coding the same amount of time as I was coding previously when I had the barista job because I thought that that's the way I have to do it but I realized you cannot live like that that's not a life to live instead of like coding more I should have saved up more and find the next uh, hustle luckily two years in I figured out what I have to do and I started doing it but I'm, I'm begging you to create your five-year plan I am just a tool for you okay I am literally just a tool you can either use my advice and start coding and start stop watching tutorials and all this bullshit you can get in faster or you can work with me and you'll get even faster in and you'll be even better than any other damn self-taught developer that thinks it's possible to learn to code by yourself without code reviews and all this stuff yeah you can get it you can learn but you'll be crippled but that's a discussion for another day but you have to use me as a tool either by understanding that you have to actually do the work or by becoming a client. You get in and you prepare already from today what's gonna be the next thing. Because right now probably you do not have like big finances, you don't understand how it is to be making 10, maybe $15,000 a month. Your your mind cannot understand that. Probably right now you are thinking, oh, with five 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 thousand a month or 6,000 a month, I'll be happy. I'll be living a pretty decent life. But trust me, when you are on that type of money, and when you want to travel, when you want to buy different things, when you want to do certain investments, you realize, hey, I need more money, okay? Because money is gonna buy you a lot of things that only a side hustle, only a business can get you, right? Maybe, look, one of my goals is to retire my mom and my dad, right? I don't want them to work anymore. I want to pay off their debts and stuff like that. Maybe at some point I'll buy a, like an old Porsche to my, for my father because he always wanted a Porsche. This is like a personal goal that I have. And just by being a developer, maybe I could have done it, right? But only a business can take me to that level. And the only way I was able to start a business, at least from my experience, if you ask me how I will be doing it, is by learning coding, right? It's by learning a skill. There are other skills that you can learn and I'm not gonna talk about them here, but coding is one of the most like safe ones that you can learn, okay? And I've used that, that, that skill to start a business and you can use it as well. Maybe not like me, because you maybe, maybe you don't like to talk to people. I like to talk to people. I like to motivate them. I like to find frameworks. I like to find out how their brain works. I like this, right? So for me, coaching was pretty, a very good idea. For you, maybe you don't like that. Maybe you work medical job right now and you find that there is a problem there and you find an idea, you figure out how to build a system, a SaaS, and then you sell it and you become a millionaire like that. Or maybe you like real estate, you had this uncle that always did real estate and you wanna get money to start investing into real estate. Coding is that skill that's gonna give you a lot of money, but you have to think about that thing right now, not when you get it, when you'll be tired. Because when you'll be tired, okay, when you reach your goal, because if you are putting enough time, if you are consistent, if you are hardworking, if you are passionate about your work, and if you understand what this skill is gonna give you, you'll get there. But you'll get there tired, okay? And you cannot make conscious decisions when you're tired. I know that whenever you feel fatigued, you are just 60%, just using like 60% of your brain or 40% of your brain. You need to look up this guy, David Goggins. Uh, he's talking about that. And then you can push a bit more, and then that becomes your next baseline. 
and then you push more and then you work your full-time tech job you make 80k you make 90k money is coming in and then you think okay let me save up six months and i'll start this but you already have in mind what you're gonna do after those six months you'll already do the research you'll already already be doing networking you'll find the contacts you'll find the suppliers for whatever thing you need to do maybe you want to start a SaaS company you start connecting with different developers you learn different skills you learn sales you learn marketing you learn leadership you, you stack up skills you, you need to be like a like a like a sponge that wants to gain knowledge you know one of the things that i i'm really grateful for right now is the fact that i i can wake up anytime i want i go to the gym and i read books and i listen to audiobooks this is pretty much what i do all day because i just want to sink knowledge i want to learn from from people different things so i can give it give them to you on youtube give them to my students I try different things with my students. I figure out frameworks. I tell them to you, tell them to you. You listen to them. Maybe it works. I, I receive like messages daily, like "Hey, you changed my life. You helped me with this," uh, and it makes me happy. You know, this is this is what I like. For you, maybe not might might not be this, but it might be something else. But to get that something else, you need to start with making the money. You need to save yourself first, okay? And coding is good for that, but do not settle for a coding job. I guess this is the message for today. It's a bit random, maybe it's not the best for my business, but this is the truth and I'm always gonna tell you the truth.